Hey, good morning to you. Yes, sir, Jesus is Lord. Thank God. The Word works. What this whole season is about is the Word working. In the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word is God, and in the beginning the same, the same Word. Now, Jesus was the Word in action. Let me turn over there and just read this and a, and a couple other verses out of John because it's so powerful that you get a hold of this that what this is all about is the power of the Word working in your life. In the beginning was the Word. Well, let me see here if I can find it in my Bible. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same, the Word, the same, the same was in the beginning with God. Now watch this. All things were made by Him, the Word. By Him and without Him, the Word, was not anything made that was made. Now I want to make that real plain to you. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, but the same was in the beginning, and it says, and the Word became flesh. Down here, all oh, the same came for a witness, the Word became flesh. And so this Word that was within Him, Jesus and the Word are the same. So watch this. All things were made by Him, Him the Word. And without him, the word was not anything made that was made. Now watch. <laughs> in him was life, and the life was made the light of men. The light shineth in the darkness. Now, it says here that the word became flesh. Jesus was the word of God in the flesh of man that came in to this world. That's verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Yes, he did, and he still does. Dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of, of the Father, full of grace, full of grace and truth. Now, let's go back to this for a little bit. Without him, the word was not anything made. I mean, this whole universe, and there's a lot of it, dear Lord. I mean, we're still finding out how many more stars there is out there, and they call them star uh, light years away. When God said, let there be light, boom, I mean, you know, light took off, and it's still going. The scientists say that creation's still going. Light's still reaching places it's never reached. Well, the Word became flesh. Woo, and dwelt among men. The air that we breathe, man, it's raining cats and dogs out here today. I mean, you know, some of y'all up north are having a blizzard. Down here in the south, we're just having a lot of rain. Now, it's going to get cold tonight. <clears throat> but the weather, the winds, the rain, the snow, the stars, the moon, the sun, all of that was created when God said, let there be light. The vegetation, the big old trees, I'm talking about big trees. I'm, uh, you know, they, they were created when God said, when God said, all the way from Genesis, and God said, all of the different kinds of animals, my, my, you, you can't even stop to think about them hardly, you know. They were all created by the Word of God. Well, the Word of God, the creative power of the Word of God, has been given to you and I so that we can be like God and speak things into existence. Well, you know, I think I'm going to be sick. You said it, you spoke it, and you are. Well, I think I'm going to lose my job. You know, this pandemic and so forth, people getting laid off, and I'll probably be the first one laid off. Well, you are because you said you were. Listen, if God controlled everything by the Word, well, then Frank's got to control everything by the Word, or Annette's got to control everything by the Word. And when the circumstances look negative, you can't say what it looks like. Watch. When God stepped out to the edge of nothing, darkness was upon the face of the earth, the face of the deep. I mean, it was dark, very dark. God didn't say, whoo, Jesus, it's dark out there. What, G what God said was, let there be light, and boom, there was light. He didn't say what he saw. He said what he wanted. So you can't say what you see. you got to say what you want, 
and realize that creative power of the Word of God that God gave us during this season of the year is what's going to change your life by meditating in it and saying what it says. Patty and I got a hold of this about a year ago, I guess, maybe two. I just started looking at her and I said, you love me. And she looked at me kind of funny and said, okay. Well, after a while, I'll just say to her, you love me. You really love me. And so one day she said, you know, I just love you. She said, I love you so much. I can't hardly stand it. I said, I told you so. <laughs> and so after about six months, she got, I got that. So she looked at me one day. She said, Frank, you love me. I said, yes, ma'am, I do. And we've been saying that to each other, Pat, you love me. Yep. And then Frank, you love me. Yep. And our love has grown. Oh man, we are so in love. We're, we're going out on dates almost every day. We hold hands all the time. We talk to each other time. She loves to go out to breakfast. I take her a lot. We're having the time of her life. She don't know it. She's asleep back there this morning, but I got some special things planned for next week. We've already had all of our Christmas parties. And by the way, we had a great year. We had the best Christmas, I think, that we've ever had in the midst of all these circumstances because we continued to say, my God meets my needs according to his riches and glory. We continued to say, wealth and riches are in our house. And I remember when we bought that Christmas tree, it was like $45. And I thought, oh, man. Um, that's going to be all the money I got in my pocket. Well, since that day, I haven't run out of money. Pat's been able to get the things she wanted. We've had the best year we've had. We passed some opportunities, but because we believe it and say it, we are creating things in our lives with the power of the Word of God. Watch this again. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God, and it's that Word that's going to change your circumstances. Well, what about Jesus? He is the Word. He became flesh. That Word became flesh. Everything that Jesus did, he said, I only do and I only say what I see my Father do or what I hear my Father say. Plant the seed of the Word of God it'll change your life and be the best year you've ever had. Hey, I still got a whole day. I'm believing God for some more stuff. But you know what? God can create it right now. Hey. So until I'm with you tomorrow, remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.